We're at Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington, Minnesota, and welcome to season number 58. I'm Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire. I can't think of a better place to start it than the Cowboys against the Vikings. Can you, Tom? Sort of a playoff game, whether it's the first one or the last one with these two teams. No doubt you know, about it. you look at these two ball clubs, Minnesota and Dallas, and they're young. They have rebuilt. But yet, while they're rebuilding, they've managed to stay on top. Well, and the all-stats quarterback, Fran Tarkington, does not play well against Dallas. I think he's 5-9 and nine lifetime. Uh, but listen, Seaman, Blair, and, and McNeil are good linebackers with speed. Dallas is going to have to figure that out. They go to the three-man front once in a while, too. Pat. What do you know of the situation of last year's Heisman Trophy winner, Tony Dorsett, in Dallas? I think Preston Pearson on the experience factor will start, and then we'll see Tony Dorsett very quickly. He could break out uh, in, in, a, in a rash, as they say. All right, let's get to the action and see <laughs> what's right. going on down there. Actual today. The referee is Pat Haggerty. The umpire is Al Conway. The head linesman Walt Peters. The line judge Bob Beeks. The back judge Jim Poole. And the field judge Bob Lewis. They train Tarkenton. Foreman and McClanahan, the running back. And Tarkenton will throw on first down. The coverage is good. Aaron Kyle. Kyle might be shaken up on the play, and if anything, it looked like there might have been a little bit of offensive uh, interference, but the receiver and Kyle are both on the ground. They're administering to him. Here is the offensive line for the Vikings. Got Big Riley at left tackle, Goodrum at left guard, Tinglehoff, who's been at center forever up here, Hamilton, who's now in for Eddie White, and I guess Eddie White will no longer become a Viking, at least he's not starting this season with him, and of course the all-pro Big Ron Yeri, the 10-year veteran at right tackle. The receivers were Rashad Sammy White, the second-year man now who did so well as a rookie, and Stu Voigt, the guy who just comes out of the ground when they need clutch yardage. <laughs> so it's going to be third and eight. Last play for Minnesota, got two yards. And here goes Tarkenton again. Down the middle and deep to Foreman. At the 40 is Chuck Foreman. What a juke. Foreman put on Henderson and. Foreman might be hurt, or is hurt, no question about it, as you look at that. If you lose Rashad and Foreman the first two or three plays of your game, uh, Bud Grant's going to be grayer than you are. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> We're not laughing at the injury. It's just that Foreman is such an incredible athlete, somehow you always believe he'll get up. 219 pass receptions in four years. Like he might have to. Straight ahead, Johnson on a misdirection play, and Johnson's got the room. At the 40, at the 35 by Cliff Harris. The right of your screen, they'll let 54 through and just let him run himself out of the play. It looked like it might have been what they call sort of a false action play against him, but the main thing is that Sammy Johnson breaks out clear, and it's Cliff Harris that had to make another tackle. Uh, Minnesota first down. looking play there. I don't want it. Running back. Francis. Stu Voigt. Stopped again by Cliff Harris. Boy, Goodrum is in company. And I'm telling you, Fran is a quick drop back man. And again, he's not trying to throw it a ton. He's just going to get it over one area and in between the next area. Harris in pretty good shape, but Boyd uh, always seems to be in his own shadow, doesn't it? it Looked like Randy White might have gotten a piece for him. That means he got hit hard in the head. And he'll be back. Carpenter is going to throw back across the field. Wide right open is Chuck Foreman, and he's going to score. Touchdowns in 55 games. Now watch him fake to Foreman. Foreman went through the line, died a little bit for a count or two, and the weak side linebacker, and I'm not going to try to put responsibility, should have been laying there waiting for him. Now watch this from the same angle as the play unfolds, and you'll see how open 44 is. And he was the first man they faked to. Harris has no chance. Foreman looks like he's all right. <laughs> I'll say. And Minnesota making it look easy. Breaks on top. They lead the Cowboys 7 to nothing. Yep. And made that play, so it'll be second down now and 14 yards to go. Straight ahead is Pearson. He got some room. Preston Pearson outside the 40 for a Dallas first down to the 43. On third and eight, Staubach dropped. Started the throw, didn't. Does not have first down, and what a shot he took. Jeff Seaman 
and Bobby Bryant almost took him in half. An after job in the end zone, but the official just stared him in the eye. Danny White trying to get it out of bounds. That looks like it might be a fair effort. Oh. About the three. Take that, Bud Grant. <laughs> Robert Miller put up his hand back there. This is the spot he likes to, likes to unload, and there he goes. Francis. There goes the flag. He threw it away. Neither. Watch this. And I'm telling you, the big guys come with the rush. Tarkington in the end zone, looking for a short pattern. He's trying to get Boyd checking out. Oop, here comes Tuto. And there's Randy White. He didn't even know Fran got rid of <laughs> Let's see what Pat Haggerty has to Intentionally say. grounding. Offense. Loss of down. And down. That violation. He might try it again. <laughs> Stu Voigt. First down, Minnesota. How'd you like to ride along with the Budweiser Clydesdales? Well, here we go. Here comes the king. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. Here comes the king. Budweiser beer, the king is second to none. Budweiser beer, the king is coming. Let's hear the call. When you say Bud, you said it all. When you say Bud, you said it all. Thanks for the ride, fellas. It's no joke when a meeting runs late and you've got to catch a plane. And if Hertz, the superstar in rent a car, hadn't invented express check-in, you just might be waiting in line at some rent a car counter while your plane is taking off. It takes a superstar to come up with time-saving ideas like express check-in. Next trip, you might need it too. So rent a Ford or other fine car from Hertz. The superstar in rent a car. That's right. It is seven nothing. Minnesota leads. A touchdown pass to the target of the forum. Foreman. Uh, bad exchange between Foreman and Tarkenton, and a worse exchange between Randy White and Tarkenton. Fran wouldn't give it up, but he had thoughts about it. Watch this. It's going to be a little old. It's almost the old Statue of Liberty. A bad handoff on the hip. Now Fran and Randy White get into this, and this <laughs> fight is over. <laughs> and Neil Claybowl, number 12, will punt for Minnesota. Almost got it. Playbowl goes down with the act. Johnson takes the ball. No place to go for Butch Johnson, but they were trying to block in, in Bloomington, Minnesota, I should say. You were close, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas owns the football first and 10 at their own 41. 12 minutes left first period. Starbucks is going to throw. Wide open is Golden Richards. Inside Minnesota territory to their 45. Pearson and Newhouse still the running back. Pearson the carry. Carl Eller. The yard line is the Minnesota 47. The Vikings lead the game 7 0. Newhouse also slips. The flag goes down. The violation right in the middle. Here it is from Haggerty. Holding number 64, offense. Second and 22 situation, and Roger goes back deep. John Fitzgerald, the center. Vikings jump. Allen Page right in front of Fitz. I knew Allen was quick. They're going to try it again. Second and 27 situation. At one time, Dallas was in Viking territory. From the shotgun is Roger Staubach. Looking for time and buying some and throwing. Billy Joe Dupree. At about the 42-yard line of Minnesota, Jeff Seaman got him out of bounds. Oh, snap. Callback throws. Caught. Pearson, I believe, the catcher. Yes, first down at the Minnesota 30. 9.50 left first period. Here is Pearson down to the 25. Third and three. For Dupree, in that gravel part of the end zone, boy, that's a bad place to fall, I'll tell you. And I'm telling you, that is real gravel. And he Dallas coach was telling me he had never seen him as erratic as he was. All of which is a 
pretty good endorsement for him to make this out of Charlie Waters' hold. It's good. And Rod, R Roger Staubach had plenty of time on that pass play, and I think he would like to reload and throw that one again, Pat. Fresh. It'll be a first down Minnesota at their own 24. Miller. Broke a few, didn't he? Outside the 35 to the 37, Cliff Harris. For White. Cliff Harris. And he'll stay down. He went down as a result of contact. Now watch it change. And you'll see the rest of the play from behind Fran. And watch Barnes make the play. And there's Harris. Isn't he always? And he scrambled out. You know who was chasing him, don't you? Watch number 88 get in hot pursuit, and Alan Page can run like a back. Probably as fast as Roger, and Roger's quick. Look at 88 coming from behind. I think Roger's glad that he got under Blair. Fake to Dorset. Outside Laidlaw. Close to another Dallas first down. Stopped by Bobby Bryant. Pearson comes back in motion. Dorsett gets the call. Dorsett might have gotten a yard and might have gotten the first down. It is going to be very close. Jim Marshall led the charge. Third down. Dorsett did not get it. He'll get another crack. And again, he does not get it. Jeff Seaman. Seems out. Losing to the Red Sox. Tarkenton. Behind Tingle off. To Stu Boyd. Charlie Waters, the man nearest. And that's Stu Voigt. is pitches by Stu Voigt for 40 yards and a Minnesota first down. And Tarkenton flips back to Foreman. Ball is loose. And looks like it might belong to the Cowboys. Law put in the infirmary. We come back live. The ball is loose and live. And Minnesota's got it. And a touchdown pass from Fran Tarkenton to Chuck Foreman. Got the Vikings that lead. It was a 40-yard field goal by a friend Herrera that accounts for the Dallas three. So, at the half, the Minnesota Vikings lead the Dallas Cowboys. The score is 7-3. Schlitz wants you to have a ball. Pass the word, pass the word. Hey, now's the time to pick up plenty of Schlitz. Pass the word, pass the word, pass the word. Because the Schlitz football offer is here. Look for this display at participating stores and save up to $5 on an official Wilson football. Come on. Pick up Schlitz and have a ball. Pass the word, pass the word, pass the Schlitz. I dare you to knock this off. I dare you to compare anybody's batteries, anybody's, with alkaline power cells. I'm trying to beat them for long life. You know what? You can't. When you want long-lasting energy, you can't buy a longer-lasting, all-purpose power system than gold, red, and black alkaline power cells from EverReady. Come on. I dare you. Betty White sees red when a blind date for her ex-husband leads to a blossoming romance tomorrow night on CBS. Brent, thank you very much. Tom, I, I think over the years that we've watched the Vikings play, you get sort of the feeling that they just, they're not all that impressive, but they just stifled you. Well, the first play of the game, the pass play by Tarkington, really was an interception pass. Right. But instead of that, Harris runs into Kyle, Ahmad Rashad gets hurt, but they don't get the INT on the very first play, which would have been deep. And you seem to make... Uh, the bad play and the Vikings seem to wait for you not to make your good play all the time. I know it sounds weird. And by the way, Rashad, Ahmad Rashad, who was hurt on that first play, has not come back. Our word was that he had a, a slight concussion. Maybe or maybe not be back, but that's a big loss for the Vikings. As far as Dallas is concerned, of course, all of us were waiting for the, for the debut of Tony Dorsett. He's carried the ball, uh, to my recollection, three times and has picked up almost no yards. Well, you know, it's a crazy thing, but Archie Griffin, when he came in, his first game, he had 38 yards on 12 carries. Steve Owens with Detroit had no rushing yardage at all his first game. Uh, Capaletti had three yards on one carry, and O.J. Simpson only had 35 yards on 10 carries. So 
I don't know what Gail Sayers did his first game. That yeah. might scare me. But we've got to wait for Dorsett to really show us what uh, we've been hearing words, all There have been a lot of top flight backs who have not had auspicious beginnings. And so far, it's too, too early to judge, of course, uh, Dorsett has not done all that well. And I think that Roger Staubach really has not been the smooth quarterback that we're used to seeing. Uh, I think he overthrew uh, uh, Billy Joe Dupree down in the end zone, which I think was a touchdown. Uh, Tarkington has been fantastic as always, you know. For the outstanding members of the National Football League, the Dallas Cowboys, Minnesota Vikings, locked in the kind of battle we expected. Minnesota leading 7-3. Tarkington's been intercepted twice, but sort of an incredible first half, and you think about it, 9 for 19 for 124 yards, and he's very close to 42,000 for the career. Staubach, 6 for 10 for 63. Again, he overthrew the, the touchdown pass that, you know, Roger will not do, and, of course, he's sound, and he's very healthy, and uh, I don't know. I would imagine the second half we might see a lot of points for two good defensive teams to probe around the first half and find out what will and what won't go, and I think they've probably done it. Before. Dallas has been able to convert it two out of seven times. Minnesota two out of six. Right now it's third and eight. Dahlbach. That'll be a screen. Got away from Page, and now he throws. And out of bounds. Butch Johnson was the guy who was close, and there's a flag down. And Minnesota, being a veteran defensive team, was able to Reed screen in a hurry and tied up. Danny White standing in his own end zone. Minnesota not trying to block it. White gets off a good kick. Bob Grimm drops it. Lee of the Vikings got it back. Dallas had a chance. But the Vikings got it back at their own 45. Bob Grimm. All competing. All in one car. And live. <laughs> Foreman straight ahead. Inside Dallas territory to the 40 seven yard line stopped by Randy White second down four that's McClanahan looking for a place to go he fumbles Foreman picks it up and gets a Minnesota first down so that the 42 yard line of Dallas first and ten Foreman steps out of the couple incredible They operate from the Dallas 35. He had forever. Stu Boyd to the 11. To the right. Second down and seven. Tarkenton looking for White. It was batted down. It is third down and seven. Again, plenty of time for Tarkenton. And the chase was on, and Tarkenton goes down. Harvey Martin, Landry, and Golden Richards will not play anymore today. He is staying in the locker room, in fact. Fred Cox with Paul Krause at the 31, so it'll be a 41-yard attempt. No good. Wide to the right by Cox, and Dallas will take it over at that line of scrimmage. Pearson Newhouse, the running backs behind Staubach. Drew Pearson in motion. And he end around to him, and he circles around behind Carl Eller. Gets away from a couple, and look at that. Boy, what an athlete he is. Carl, Carl, Eller's, Carl Eller's walking around like, where was everybody? One yard pickup by Newhouse, and Staubach goes deep. For Dupree, he got it. In Minnesota territory, Billy Joe Dupree, the big tight end. Linebackers and the under part of the zone, you can see how much depth they got. So that Bryant, and of course he's five foot ten and a half or eleven anyway, had no chance to to catch a great yeah. college last year on first down. Starbuck will throw or try at the fifty, and they're in that thirty-four. Three men down. Three men to rush. Salvi goes in motion. Low snap again. Deep. Intended for Drew Pearson. Nothing doing. Coverage by Nate Wright. Good. And the crowd senses the same thing, don't they? Something's got to happen. Fake is to Miller. The pass is to Foreman. He pumps. Charlie Waters has it. Waters. The flag goes down. Waters at the 30. 
inside the 30 to about the 28 yard line but there's a flag down the middle carried a little bit loosely and tackled from behind that was Ed Tutal Jones now here is the saga whatever took place Pat, I believe you're right. I believe Kyle just tackled somebody straight from behind. Stu Voigt, I believe, is the guy that he hit. Dawbach. <laughs> Down the middle. Billy Joe Dupree, I believe he got it. Well, that's a fine throw by Staubach. Been to me, I'll tell you that. I want to whistle. Staubach drops back deep. Darrell's snap is good. Rogers going for the bunch. Out of bounds, Pearson well covered by Nate Wright. Brian Tarkenton gives to Foreman. Foreman is taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Harvey Martin. Second and 21 situation for Minnesota at their own nine-yard line. Tarkenton drops it. Pressure was on. Francis throws to Foreman, who fumbled. Now they call it an in incomplete pass. Thomas Henderson. Minnesota 7, Dallas 3. Tarkenton again goes deep. Throwing deep. Picked off by Cliff Harris. His second interception of the day at the 45. Harris gives the Cowboys the ball back. All right. Fran Tarkenton throwing from deep in his own territory. And they've been flirting with disaster down here the entire quarter. And the guy from Washita College. Well, I'll tell you, that is... I'll say... Staubach is looking and throwing. Pearson, the catch. Inside the 40, but he's down. Matt Blair was close to him. A third down situation. And three. At the Minnesota 39, Staubach dropped. No shotgun. Now he's chased. Now look at those two coaches. Paps Blue Ribbon. Wouldn't challenge anyone to get this close to an erupting volcano. It's a kind of challenge that's just not for everyone. But we do challenge you to discover a better tasting beer. Taste and compare Blue Ribbon with any other premium beer. We know you'll never go back to the beer you were drinking. Pabst. Since 1844, the quality has always come through. At Allegheny Ludlam Industries, we make and use special metals in a lot of ways nobody else does. Like time memory elements for digital clock radios. We make the stainless steel for high-speed trains. At Allegheny Ludlam Industries, we create a lot of different things you live with every day. All the way from this true temper tennis racket frame to the super alloys used in this 747. Wonder why your car insurance rates are going up? Curious about how much influence the gun lobby has on your congressman? Watch 60 Minutes tonight. 7-3 the score, Minnesota over Dallas. The Cowboys are going to put it up. Or they're going to try to put it up. Carl Eller and James White. Tony Hill put wide to the right. Again, Starbuck in trouble. Fires up the middle of Newhouse. And Newhouse, still struggling, gets close to the original line of scrimmage. Back to about the 48-yard line. And Jennifer Pearson, he missed it. He was open, Bobby Bryant on the coverage. Together, what has become such a great challenge. Third down for Tarkenton now. Being chased and being caught by Harvey Martin. He can't get as far back as he normally would. He gets it out in nice fashion. Butch Johnson dropped it. Got it back. At the 34, the Cowboys will take over. They'll have it first and 10. At the 34. Inside handoff, Newhouse is inside the Vikings, 30 to the 29. Stumps right. Stumps up. Drop. But Pearson, he got it. Matt Blair got him out of bounds, but inside the 15-yard line, just barely. Camp this year in better shape than ever. Ralph said he really worked in the offseason on getting back to strength and all. You know, you sort of forget to do that when you've been around over 10 years. 
Johnson in motion. Pearson with the ball bangs to about the 10, perhaps inside. Fake. It is Pearson again to about the five or six and a half yard line. And watch it. Third and three. 8.50 left in this game. Minnesota lead, 7-3. Starbuck. Through. Caught by Pearson. What a catch. And a touchdown, Dallas. And Seaman had him covered right on the goal line, and he twisted his body around while he was being wrapped. And Scott. Now watch this throw. Sidearm. I don't believe the catch. Can't cover him any better. Time remaining on that scoreboard, 8 minutes, 43 seconds in the fourth period. Touchdown to make it 14. Tarkenton to Foreman. Trying to find some room and does. Squirms to the outside before Benny Barnes, number 31, made the tackle. Tarkenton's going to throw. Or try to. Randy White chasing him. It looks like a ballet dance back there as Tarkenton gets away from everybody and finally does throw. Robert Miller gets the move. Chip Harris, the only man. In Dallas territory. What a job Tarkenton did. There are no flags either. Watch this. This is the reason you can't give him X's and O's. <laughs> and watch the dart he throws when he finds it. And I mean it's right on. Good play here by Harris who really had to make sure of contact. Get as much of the body as you can then. But Francis is going to throw, you know. I guess not. That's McClanahan. He swings down to the 40. Dallas is making pass all the way. Well, in a situation like this, because he can run as well as throw. Wow. D.D. Lewis popped him out of bounds, but he got his first down. Situation now. 5-0-5 left to play. Straight ahead, handoff is to McClanahan. To the 20. Aaron Kyle on the tackle, but what a call by Franz Arkansas. Foreman. To the 12. Second and one. McClanahan plugs to the 10. I think he got the first down. Two and a half minutes left to play. He gets again to Foreman. Nothing to it. Charlie Waters with that clutch tackle. What a tackle. Failed. There's Grant still looking on. Fran Tarkenton still directing his attack against the Dallas defense. They do not quit. He called Jones, takes him down. Ed Jones and Larry Cole, the guys who put the pressure on Fran Tarkenton. Five-yard attempt. Cox had a lot of competition in training camp, but that experience is one reason they kept him and not the other guy. It's good. Cox kicks away. Butch Johnson will field it at the goal line. Block starts, and here comes Johnson. Swing to the outside. Got a couple of blocks. Put Johnson to the 45, to the 48-yard line. A fine return by Johnson, and what a clutch time. Roger Starbuck goes back. Ooh, almost a low snap from center again. The fake across the middle caught by Jay Salvi, the backup tight end, who's still trying to get up, and it has a scuffle as of right now. Less than a minute left to play. Starbuck gets the forward handoff to Newhouse. Oh, the house gets to the 45 where he is really hit by Jeff Seaman. Seaman and Blair really unloaded on Newhouse. And that play looked super start now, didn't it? Mm -hmm. The play. Dallas goes back into the shotgun again. Forward handoff is to Pearson. He's got the first down for Dallas. And they've got to get back to the huddle in a hurry or else call another timeout right here. At the 39-yard of Minnesota, Staubach drops. Newhouse gets out of bounds at the 32. And now the challenge really preys on the mind of Herrera. 
Blitz is on by the bike. Wide open is Pearson. At the 15, he is out of bounds. Starbuck really hung in there. How about squeezing off that round, though, when you know it? Starbuck gives to Pearson. He protects. He gets to the 10. Seven seconds. And now Pat Haggerty has stopped the clock with six seconds to go, and here comes the field goal unit. He waters to hold. At the 18, it will be 28 yards for Herrera. It is not good. He pulled it. Haggerty still calling. Here comes Harvey Martin, Drew Pearson, Jay Salvi out from the Dallas bench, Jim Marshall. I believe Mick Tinglehoff. <laughs> Call a coin in the air. And Amos. Winlin Hall. Winlin Hall is the special team captain. I started to say Amos Martin, but he's gone. Call it, Call it in the air. We got uh, tails. Tails, he calls. There it is. Take the ball. You want the ball? Let's go. You Minnesota got the football. You heard him. Listen to the roar. Minnesota and Dallas going to sudden death overtime. America, the beautiful, she's big and she's green. There's no place like her on this earth and they'll probably never be. She's been a long time growing and she's moving right along. Got to keep that beat of going like the rhythm of a song. We can't wait, we can't wait. For tomorrow, I'll go can't wait. We gotta save the houses that speak of yesterday. We gotta work the land, my friend, in a new and better way. The people at Alcoa are working every day. We will find the answers as aluminum shows the way. We can't wait, we can't wait. Tomorrow, Alcoa can't wait. We're in sudden death. Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington, Minnesota. The Vikings won the toss and said, We want the ball. And they're about to get it. Herrera, who just missed that field goal, shanks one high. Taken by Miller at the 18. Robert Miller gets to the 30-yard line before he is swarmed on by Dallas special team led by Guy Brown. Going to be interesting, Pat, to see if the Cowboys can now get it back to that intense edge again. I thought the whole team sort of, wow, inhaled and fell down when the kick didn't go. And Minnesota has the ball first. Eight to five, Dan Rather's watching. <laughs> <laughs> You are right, I'm sure. First down, Minnesota at their own 30. First and 10. He gives to Foreman. Foreman takes into the secondary. Cliff Harris took him down after about a four-yard pickup. D.D. Lewis helped. I just had a bunch of stats pushed down to me, and they don't mean a single thing. <laughs> when it's all tied and you're going sudden death, it starts from zero again. Just crank it back. At the 35-yard line, five-yard pickup by Foreman. We have 14 minutes and 20 seconds left in sudden death overtime. Score is Dallas 10, Minnesota 10. The reverse. Wide open is Bob Graham. I mean, wide open. And he overthrew him. Graham was so open, Tarkenton could not believe it. He was down there in the sun doing side straddle hops. That's how open he was, the flea flicker. And that's the first time I can remember Minnesota ever pulling that off. A double reverse and give it back to Fran Tarkenton. Look at him. Look at Fran. Remember that Ram game we did up here last year? Yes. Minnesota was down in a position to score. The score was 10-10. And Ram linebacker Rick Kay intercepted a pass. A lot of people asked Mr. Tarkenton why he threw that pass. Third and five situation at the Minnesota 35. 
First down, Minnesota at their own 30. First and 10. He gives to Foreman. Foreman picks into the secondary. Cliff Harris took him down after about a four-yard pickup. Deep. Here are the first. Wide open is Bob Grimm. I mean, wide open. And he overthrew him. Grimm was so open, Tarkenton could not believe it. Operating in the sunlight with half his team in the shadows. Draw play, Sammy Johnson. He's going to get the first. He did. Ten. Tarkenton on a sprint out. Looks right. Looks in. Threw it away. Intentional grounding is going to be called again. This one will be more costly than the other one. Intentional grounding. Loss of down. Offense, number 10. Third down. It's yardage to go. Would you throw it? I couldn't even get my arm back. He's going to throw. He's chased by Larry Cole and he's down at the 20. Again, number 63. Shanked it. Out of bounds. 60 minutes to be seen in its entirety. Immediately following this game. We're going to stay with this, of course. Staubach. Drew Pearson. Oh. At the 31. How did he hang on? Bobby Bryant. Across the middle, of course, the people here have seen him catch the ball in the last few seconds to win the championship game, right? But well, watch this catch. And I mean he's stuck. Coming across the middle, that's the test. I'll tell you, Pearson is all by himself. Okay, and now he's flipped wide to the right. First and 10. Dallas. Minnesota 31. Pearson again. Caught it again. Amazing. Second and six. The ball at the 26. Staubach fails. Throws out the gold, Golden Richards. Breaks a couple. Golden Richards down to about the 15 before they get him out of bounds. Bobby Bryant. Good effort by Golden. Here, I'll tell you that. 10-10. Dallas, Minnesota, we're in overtime. It looks like Herrera might get another chance. Newhouse. To the nine. Matt Blair was the first guy to hit him. 10-10. <laughs> Third and three. The ball is at the eight. Staubach gives to Pearson again. Preston Pearson oh. might have the first down on a great second effort. It is a first down Dallas. Yeah, the whole schedule back. We'll see it all. Staubach looking in the end zone. He's going to run. Rogers Staubach scores for Dallas. And that'll do it. 16-10. The Cowboys prevail. A playoff game on the very first weekend of the season. I think he wanted to run with it all the way. The end did not get out. Good coverage by Minnesota. Blair comes up. A fast linebacker. You're looking at the man that went to the Naval Academy, taking in himself. Up Periscope. Looks like he made it. Took it right over Jeff Seaman to score. He'll just slide the whole schedule back. We'll do that so that we could bring you Dallas 16, Minnesota 10 in sudden death. What do you think? I'm not going to make 14 of these, I'll tell you that. That's as much tension as you can have for a football game to start out the football season. Uh, I've never seen two teams use everybody on their squad to make some kind of an effort to get into the game. Don't forget the CBS Sports Spectacular, the Trenton 150, next week on Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So this is Pat Summerall then, Fort Tom Brookshire, saying goodbye from Metropolitan Stadium in Bloomington, Minnesota. <laughs>